Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and um, welcome to my Ragnarok mansion build. This has been a work in progress for about a year. I've built four or five iterations of this build and finally got it to where I sort of originally envisioned it. I use Structures Plus open source mod uh, for the, the main construction and eco mods for all the decor, gardens and all the interiors. I wanted the mansion to have sort of a turn of the 20th century look, you know, like early 1900s. Just with a few modern amenities like uh, cookers, fridges, crafting fabricators, stuff like that. If you recognise the area this is built, uh, you might have some idea of what's coming. But I'll have a quick run around the mansion because it's just a really nice building, it's all right, and then I'll get onto the secret labs. I will make a build video, but for now I thought a tour would be a good way of revealing the secrets of the base. Uh, yeah, it's a real surprise, it's cool. I've got clip active, structure limit is raised and no foundations is untrue for structures plus. That's just so you don't need support for anything. Um, I've got videos on the channel of how to set all that up. So inside the mansion I've built like just little areas where you can study and things like that. There's libraries, loads of books, every little bit of decor is all pretty much placed separately. Just all places to chill out like a comfy chair next to a fireplace and all things like that. There's a couple of kitchens built on this first floor. That one's a bit more practical than the other kitchen, that was just all eco mods decor, just love the way it all looks really. Couple of little crafting areas inside the base. This is her bathroom. Then this area around here is just like a library. It's got all the candles and little books and stuff everywhere, make it all like it's sort of lived in. Some nice lighting effects as well. Then I built a couple of bedrooms underneath the roof sections on this side. Like I said, the, the main mansion's all S+. It's uh, open source mod now. So you've got like a few things, um, the upside down half walls pretty much the only thing that I've used that isn't on, you know, didn't come with the homestead update. So the whole place is, should be able to build it, no problem with vanilla structures. So every bit of decor's all from eco mods. I mean, there's, there's some stuff from like vanilla um, and some of the sort of more tech inspired um, like forges and crafting areas and uh, crafting benches and things like that they're from the S plus mod right so that's the main floors bedrooms kitchens um, we'll go down to the basement and just put a bit more, like a bit of a proper crafting area down in there. Wasn't much room for an indie forge, not up here anyway. Like I said the mansion's a pretty, pretty nice design by itself, really. What I might do if it's a bit sort of complicated on the build video, I'll rebuild it just like on its own. Just a little desk here. And then this is the labs we're going into now. So everything's like dead old fashioned and then you come down here and it's like, this is like the start of the tech area.
got to put your hazmat gear on if you're going down there. Right, check this out. And we have a full underground laboratory. It's like heavily inspired by um, like an Umbrella Corporation facility. Like what if Umbrella got hold of InGen's dinosaur cloning technology? So yeah, I just went and built it. Like, I used a lot of the holograms. Um, I thought they'd be experimenting on like the humans and the clones and stuff. And then all this is like eco mods, deco. These ones with the the humans inside these pods uh, actually work as fridges. So I've used them like all over the places if they're experimenting on the people with the T virus. And then this room's just like all different experiments going on, and that central little command thing in the middle there can sort of keep an eye on them all. Try to make every sort of little laboratory a bit unique, give it sort of a movie style look to it. That's um, a big lab underneath that, but I, I don't want to give too much away about that yet. Let's have a quick look. Got some more corridors to go down yet. I think this would make a pretty decent FPS map as well. Rebuild it on something like Fortnite or something. Got red lights going off, something bad's happening in there. I couldn't have like a whole underground lab and not have at least some sort of calamity going on. Zombie dodos have escaped. <laughs> sort of the start of the downfall of the place. They never last long in movies, these sort of places. This is like um, a botanical genetics section. Experimenting with plants from aberration and things like that. Those lockers you can see um, are actually storage. The green, sort of giving off that green glow at the back. They look like servers. So I've used them all over the place. This is another like observation room to keep an eye on what's going on in the big lab underneath. But it would be better to see that place when you sort of run through it. Oh, there's just a few um, ramps on S+. Uh, if you log, log out, they turn back to ramps instead of staying as stairs. I thought I'd replace them all. Never mind. That's the waterfall that's behind the mansion, goes right down into the cave system. So if you do recognise the area, you'll know there's a massive cave here um, that's all open. So I sort of had to cover that up and then build this underneath upside down from the top. This is like a big server room with a hologram of the AI in the centre. The Red Queen. Terrarium um, decor from Eco is brilliant. If you ever get that, there's loads of little creatures moving about in all the terrariums and everything. I've used a load in there. And this is the main lab. This is like your dino storage, dino pen. Ravenger. And then all these pods got different dinosaurs in them. Oh, and I put a couple of Reapers in. I didn't realise how massive these things were until I had to build a pen for them. So I've used a lot of the um, S plus glass on that one. And they're actually S plus um, underwater, you know, vacuum compartments. But with this mod, you can stick them wherever you want. They look really good. These are all offices.
and zombie weaving. Wyvern. I had to get something in here that looked like a proper zombie. Labs, but you can see like all the little dino, uh, dinosaurs that are inside them. Therizinas, uh, Stegos, Gigas, all sorts, really cool. It's another Reaper. There's loads of different ways I could have designed this place. Um, like this whole section was open when I first built it. I was just going to have like a few small labs dotted along. But once I started using the uh, vacuum compartments and things on this section it just looked really good. I put these ones higher up in the roof as well. Like another human genetics lab. Just needed something to fill out the area. Like I said before though, I've, I've tried this place it must be at least five times, you know, with different mods and sort of different ways of doing it, but I always hit like really bad FPS and lag and I think I just sort of hit the limits of what the game can handle in, in any one area and my own computer's sort of um, ability to process it all. Even with this, like when it comes to save, it freezes up for a few seconds. I was starting to get some FPS issues and things. When I came to record, I just put it in slow-mo, um, slowed it down and then sort of sped it back up when I was editing just to give everything time to process and run through. That's, that, that area there was just all the uh, terrariums. Another little like miniature genetics lab. <laughs> it took about five days to build the, the whole place. Um, I think I've got about eight hours of footage recorded, but I'm not gonna put all that into the build video. I'll do the full mansion and then some sections of like how I built it down into the cave and how the first lot of corridors went together and everything. Um, and then I've took loads of screenshots of it, you know, being built up and built down into the cave and everything. So I'll do the, the video that way. I think once you've learned, or once I've shown you how to do like the walls and the corridors and stuff and some of the smaller labs, it's just sort of the same idea, but you know, sort of putting your own little twist to it. Uh, this room's like a cryostasis area. So that umbrella's always got a few like important officials frozen for after the apocalypse. Try to make a good place for like yeah, where you put your beds down. I mean, if you are on a server that's got like all the different mods put together and stuff, you could try something like this. You know, if you really want to give it a go. Um, so just keep it a bit smaller. You know, so you've not got as many like lag issues and stuff like that. Would be a cool place to live though on a server. And this is the final main room. This is just all production. So it's like storage and everything. With the S Plus mod, there's a lot of different like tech benches for um, producing, you know, for dye. Uh, there's a little incinerator, there's a little tech um, transporter. You can drop items in it and pick them up from any other transporter in the base. That's a cooker. Um, they're all different things, are pretty cool. Got a proper tech look to them. And this is like, where you come in like the main entrance that's a big ramp leading up back up into the main labs uh, i've just got a couple of tech saddles on my wrecks there but it'd be a good area to store all your fine farming dinos and stuff and then if you bring in any resources up to anything up here you know if you built one of your labs to act as like um kibble production and stuff like that bit of storage and that's about it guys it's a crazy build just it, like I said it took ages There's a lot of planning involved in everything but it's just turned out really amazing and I think like the main idea behind it was that transition from that old style mansion into that like really futuristic laboratory underneath um, like I said it took a lot of inspiration from movies and things um, yeah so I hope I sort of captured, captured that sort of atmosphere to it I've just put some pictures of the lab going together here, just so you can see how it sort of got built down into the cave system. It sort of hangs off that central elevator shaft and it was all built out from there and then built up section by section. 
that's good where I sort of left the, the stone ceilings out because that's what runs over the whole top of the, the cave system to hide it and the mansion was built on top of that uh, it was from underneath yeah so thanks for watching guys um, if you enjoyed it do us a favour and just share it around on like Twitter, Facebook, whatever you can um, it was a bit hard to name this build without giving too much away um, I'd appreciate that thanks uh, yeah thanks for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing and I will catch you later